Why did Shimon Levi demand the Brit Mila from the people of Shem? So it's a fascinating question, the whole topic, of course. This is a topic for many, many shirim, not for a two-minute <coughs> mini shir. So it's a Rambam, Ramban, what they were doing, what did the Shimon Levi hold about the people of Shem? They were violating the Noahide laws, and therefore they did warrant uh, Mita. There's a lot of discussion here in the commentaries, for sure. We understand Abishit's has a statement that maybe it's a tongue-in-cheek, a little amusing, a little depressing. He says, okay, so they had to be killed, fine, but why do the Brismila first? So he'll answer, in order to weaken them. That's a way to kill them. <coughs> he says something else. He says that once they go out and have a Brismila, then they're identified as Jews. Once they're identified as Jews, so a whole town of Jews gets wiped out, who cares? What does it matter? People won't bat an eyelash. So whatever he meant when he said it, was it tongue-in-cheek or is it serious? Either way, it's a pretty depressing point to think that that's really what history has shown the last thousands and thousands of years. Unfortunately, when tragedy happens to the Jewish people, somehow, somehow, the world just looks the other way. A lot of the world. Not everyone. There are righteous Gentiles. There's Hasidei Umota Alam that we love and appreciate so much. But so often the world, a good part of the world, just turns away when it's a Jewish disaster. In the UN, of course, the whole world could be falling apart. And they're just going to find problems with the Jewish people and condemn us. Atrocities, millions of people being wiped out doesn't make a difference. The Jews, the Jews, the Jews. The Jews are always the problem. And the Jews are the oppressors. The Jews are the occupiers. The Jews are the demons of the world. So what an unbelievable insight, tragic insight, funny insight, cynical insight. Say whatever you want about it. But there's a lot of truth to it. That once the Jews were killed in Shechem, or people that seemed on the way to become Jewish, however you want to put it, so then somehow the world will look away. And Shimon of Levi knew that, and therefore they figured they'll make the people Jewish, they could get away with killing a whole town. Baruch Hashem, we're living in 2017 where we understand quite well we can't rely on the world for much. We need to be able to defend ourselves, and thank God we can finally defend ourselves first time in thousands of years with Hashem's help, of course, and we can produce a wonderful, blessed, productive nation with Hashem's help. And in Yitz Hashem, we should continue to be productive, to defend ourselves, and have Hashem siyat deshmaya, and understand that end of the line, end of the day, relying on the Gentiles. We have a few righteous ones here and there, but too often, too often, the majority could just leave us for dead. We have to learn that lesson from Rabbi Yonatan and keep progressing. Shalom.